Hello and welcome to Home Cook in Spain. For today's lunch I'm going to be cooking some pork belly fillets and I'm going to be using some leftover potatoes that I had yesterday with some runner beans. Oh, sorry about the mess, but these are the jars of fried tomato sauce that I made this morning and I still haven't had time to put them away because they're still warm. And obviously they're still opened. And these two little ones are my special ones, which are I can't open them with one hand, never mind. They are hot ones. Well, so let's begin. Okay, so I think I'm, I'll start off by frying these off and then I'll put them in the oven to keep warm whilst I do the potatoes. So let's turn the stove on. I'm going to turn up to number eight which is one notch below the full heat and I'm just going to add a about a tablespoon of olive oil and I'll make sure this is nice and hot before putting the um, pork belly steaks in. If you don't have pork belly steaks you can use any, you can use pork chops, uh, steak, fillets, chicken if you want, whatever. So let's wait for that to heat up. Okay, so once the oil is hot, it looks hot to me anyway, I'm going to spread it all about nicely. I'm going to do my darling wife's chops first. So I'll put hers in here. It wasn't fully hot, but it doesn't matter. And here ones, I'll just add some salt. On my ones, I'll be adding some pepper. Black pepper or coloured pepper. So basically the the pork fillets, um, or whatever your meat you're using, Cook it to your own liking. So we'll wait for that to be done. I'll right, tear these over and I can see I've got room for another one. Ouch! So I'll add mine there. I'll put the other one later on. I'll put some salt and some of this coloured pepper. Lovely jolly, I love pepper. And we'll sort these fillets out. Okay, so both steaks are ready. So now I'll start on with the potatoes. Okay then, so in this same pan, which I've cooked the meat, I'm going to put this up to number seven. Let's scrape these nice bits of leftovers from the meat. I will leave them there, of course. And I'm going to add some more oil. Olive oil, of course. That's about five or six tablespoons. And I'm going to chuck in a couple of garlic cloves, thickly um, sliced. I just slightly browned these all over. Okay, so once these are slightly browned, I will add the potatoes, leftover potatoes. Ah! Shit. Right. And I'm just going to add a bit of salt, just a little bit. You add whatever you want. And I'm going to sprinkle some sweet paprika all over. 
as much as you want also. And we'll fry this until it's nice and browned. So I'll be back in a minute to give it a move over, you know. Right, so after a few minutes, I'll turn, move these about. They're slightly breaking today, but that doesn't matter. It will taste really good, you'll see. So I'll fry these here for another four or five minutes roughly, and then I'll I'm going to serve them directly on the on the plates. So I'll be back in a minute. Well, so these seem to be ready. They smell really, really nice, especially with that garlic that I fried. So now I'm going to, I'll tear everything off and I'll serve it up. Well, today's lunch is ready. Here's my darling wife's and here's my one, with the oil of course. Yeah, I know I haven't cleaned this on the side but it doesn't matter. Well. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe video and see you soon. Thank you.